And the 0-2 pitch, line to left, down the line, that ball hooking fair, just inside the line. Celestino scores. The second base is Garlic, back-to-back -back doubles, and this game is even now at four. Celestino to left center, and Garlic down the left field line, and it's a 4-4 game. Good piece of hitting right there. You talked about Garlic and how he can hit. Boy, he hit a mistake pitch right there, just a hanging breaking ball, and was able to keep it fair. A little more aggressive early on in the spring. Me too. Infield still in, but a little more spread out. The pitch. Margot lifts into the air into shallow right. Charging hard cave. Still coming. Still coming. Dives forward. Did not make the catch. The ball is trapped. On his way to second, Margot. Lau scores. Choi to third. one nothing Rays. Good base running all the way around. Is It starts with Brandon Lau over there at third base. Probably no chance for him to tag up, so he's kind of drifting a little bit down that third base line. Figuring that if it falls in, he definitely has to score, and he did. Here's Donaldson. He can do some damage with first and second, one out. Uh, it was Josh, and he, he had changed his hair overnight on us. Swung on and crushed the center field. Long run by Margot. He'll look up. Gone. Donaldson. Three run over. Twins lead three to two. Uh, he can turn a fastball around. He did just that. Well, let me start with this. He can dye his hair whatever color he wants if he'll do that a few more times over the course of the season. But The right-hander ready. Here's the pitch. Swinging a little slicer down the third baseline. That's fair. Will row to the corner as Ref Snyder tries to go dig it out. Around second on his way to third is Choi. He's going to get there. The throw will go into second. And Mejia is in there with a double. Now the ball gets away. Rolls all the way to the Rays' dugout. And here comes Choi. He will score. And on his way to third base goes Mejia. And it's a 3-3 game on a throwing error by Ref Snyder, but maybe some miscommunication by the middle infield of the Twins because nobody went to get to that baseball. It wasn't that bad of a throw, but nobody picked it up, and then nobody was backing it up, and the Rays take advantage. So Austin trying to put it in play in this 3-3 tie. And the infield shifted to the right side, and he blasts one. Boy, did he put it in play and put it out of play. Up into right field, up over the stands, and out towards six miles, Cypress. A solo homer for Austin Meadows in its 4-3 Rays. That was turning around a fastball. Who's one of the guys we always talked about not swinging at too many first pitches? Austin Meadows, and well, he got one much to his liking right there, and that ball landed beyond, as Andy said, the seating area out there in right field. And the 0-2 swing and a miss. He got him. There's a good fastball, 93 on the radar gun, and Lewis earlier in camp opened up that his velocity went down significantly last year. He was throwing 89. 3-2 pitch. He got him. Strike three. 92. That one elevated a bit more. So Thorpe, a strong start. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two down. No score. And the batter is Randy Rosarena. Ten home runs in the postseason last year. And the 1-2, he got him strike three. Chase did 93. And a great opening inning from Lewis Thorpe as he strikes out the side. Riders take their leads on the 0-2 pitch from Boz. Here he comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out three pitches. 99 on the last one, and I'd say he held his velocity. Strikes out two of the last three, and the Rays maintain the lead. And Derek Falvey talking about Broxton and what he can do so much defensively. He's one of those elite defended players. Talese at first, nobody out, 4-4. And the pitch, a swing and a fly ball into left field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and that's gone way out of here. Cleared the berm. Cleared the sidewalk. Out near the flagpoles, a long three-run homer from Keon Broxton. And the Twins have surged in front 7-4. As McHugh from the wine and the 0-2 again is swung out and missed strike three. Took a little something off him. That fastball right there. And Karloff swung right through it. And that's out number one here in the third. But overall in his career, 58 and 43 with a 3.95 earned run average. When you have moving parts like he does, a little bit herky jerky, he seems to have good command. One, two to Adamas. Check swing. He chased in the dirt. You bet. Strike three and a ball that popped away from Talese, but Adamas never left the batter's box. Impressive showing there for Matt Canarino. RBI double earlier. And the pitch. A line drive into center field. Another RBI hit. Base hit 
So Garlic is two for two. He's knocked in two runs. Sabato scores. Twins capitalize on the error. And now lead eight to four. So nice day for Kyle Garlic. Here's number 30.